picking up good vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. Now I'm picking up good vibrations. Excitations, giving up good vibrations. Um, just so you guys know, my hairstyle is super easy, so I'll just walk you through it. I did a half up, half down, kind of loose, nothing like super tight. I added a scarf, that's something that just you can put over your neck, that kind of stuff, over my head. And uh, I bobby pinned the ears here, so that way it doesn't like slide down. And then I just have my little bangs out, so that's the hairstyle for the day. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the makeup. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the eyes. I'm using the natural matte Too Faced palette. And uh, just taking this nice little light brown called All Natural into my crease. So now I'm taking Heaven, which is the white, and I'm putting that on my lid. Next, I'm applying the Sex Spurt, which is like a medium brown, and I'm putting that into the outside of my crease. So my eyeliner is going to be super thick, and it's going to be brown. That's what she said! <laughs> if you want to go full-blown 60s, you can take eyeliner and outline your crease, and not only is that a more dressed up version, but it's also more historically accurate. Okay, that's the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's a thick one. That's what she said. Don't you dare. So I'm gonna use some lashes, and these lashes are the House of Lashes Tinkerbell Collection. And I think this is perfect because it's not too thin and not too thick. So it opens your eyes without it being overbearing. So that's what we're gonna be applying. Glide-on pencil in the color demolition. I'm gonna apply it from here to the middle of my eye. So next, I'm gonna apply mascara on the lower lash line, and you want to put enough so that way it looks really thick, but not too long because again, this is an inspired look, and also you want to wear it every day. And I don't think long spider lash on the bottom, which were the style back then, would be a good everyday look. So. We're going to do like a hybrid of that and do a thick but short look. Okay, so I'm going to apply white liner in the waterline on the bottom. I'm also going to put that white on the inner corners. See what I'm doing there? Okay, so I'm going to use the lash and kind of put that here. Now I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. See that? And I'm putting that as contour. If you have super pale skin, this is the perfect color uh, for contour. Um, and we're just going to bronze our face up just because in the 60s that started to become a trend and became full blown in the 70s. Um, as you notice, the 60s and 70s look pretty similar, um, minus the makeup and hairdos. So yeah, we're going to go and follow that trend. It's also a trend of today, so it works perfectly. Okay. So I'm just using highlighter on the nose and the other side. So for the lips, I'm using a light peach, and that was a very popular color in combination to the eye makeup we did today. Okay, so here's my outfit. It's a dress. It's actually the same outfit I wore for the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, this is the finished look. So thank you for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. Um, make sure you like the video so I know that I, I can do more of these because I've done only like, I think, three on my channel. 
So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you let me know. And uh, make sure you check out both of my channels, J Bunty and Behind the Bunty. One's for uh, makeup transformation, and the other one is for vintage. So if you're interested, check them out. If you're not, ignore them. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.